uh, for those that joined for the first time, uh, my name is Corina Berset. I'm one of the newest ECLAN diplomates. I um, passed the exam in 2019, so became diplomate in 2020. And I'm also a member of the um, ECLAM examinations committee and co-organizers of this ECO office. So exam soft, this was not necessarily an ECLAM choice. It was chosen by EBVS for running exams after the pandemics have started. And to explain a bit what these terms mean, um, exam soft is the computer-based assessment software, which is used by um, ECLAM faculty to deliver the written exams. And it comes with Exemplify, which is actually the software or the application that the students and the exam takers will use. And this will be downloaded prior to the day of the actual exam. And this is how the exam will be taken. So using this application. Some very important things that need to be known before you start is that you will need an internet connection. You will need to use the same device that you will use to take the exams. And this is very important that you check that in advance because there are some minimum requirements that should be met. I will come later on to that. You will also see those informations in the, in the PDF that you, I will send you because it's quite dense. And then on the, day, on the day of the exam, you have to ensure that your device is connected to power. So I know it sounds silly, but you think that you have to pass a 12 hours exam in um, blocks of four hours. So this is something uh, important to think about. And you may also think about an adapter. Let's say you have moved countries and then you have your own um, power adapter that you need to bring on to be able to connect your laptop in the examination room. Then you'll also need uh, some information from ECLAM. It will be the exam soft ID. I will show a bit more afterwards. It's actually EBVS. And then login credentials that ECLAM will email you. It's very important to know that the exam can be downloaded only once. So do not do that. Do not consider using multiple devices. You will need to use the same device for uh, downloading and for taking the exam. So install Exemplify the app on it. There are these minimum system requirements, which I have mentioned. So these have to be reviewed before you download Exemplify. And you have to take into account that both Mac and Windows operating systems will work. Please do not use any tablets or iPads or phones. Um, there are not only uh, technical constraints, but you can imagine if you have to type in uh, essays for four hours, uh, you'd have to have a, a comfortable keyboard. This is something that we are still discussing, whether you can bring an external keyboard to connect to your laptop or have a laptop that you can use for, as I said, um, eight hours per day. Internet connection will be needed because you will need to download, uh, register, um, download the exam and upload it. But so download of Exemplify in the first place. And important to know this app, Exemplify will not run on Chromebooks, on Android, or Linux operating systems. So these are the minimum system requirements. I will not go through the details. As I said, you will receive this as a PDF by, um, thanks Janet in advance for emailing that to the participants, but important to review before you download the exam. So this is the short guide that I have mentioned and I will quickly show that to you. Basically, there are several videos that have been put together um, by the uh, people from ExamSoft on registration, how to download an exam, how to start an exam, how to take it and how to submit it. So we will see now these videos together and then uh, we will discuss uh, any peculiarities or any differences because there are some things which will not apply to ECLAM, like fill in the blanks questions and things like this. So you will have this um, email that will be sent to you and it's important that you um, think about um, this, the fact that the signing link will expire in 30 days, which means that you will have to complete this as soon as possible. So this is done by clicking on join your peers. And if you already have an account, you will have to use this option. If you already have an account, this will apply. If you are taking the mock exam, you will get the first part of the screen. So join your peers. And if you are taking the certifying exam afterwards, then you would already have this account and then you would uh, click um, through uh, access to this click here. So it will look like this, login, email, and then the password, and we will have to sign in. 
how this looks like. These are some screen captures. Um, we as members of the exam committee have done some dummy mock exams and then practice exams and just to test the system. So we found the user experience quite nice. And this is how it will look like for you. So you will have your courses. Of course, uh, you first have to download Exemplify to be able to access them. There's also some information in my profile. You will get detailed information about that, for instance, synchronizing the time zone, etc. In the help center mentioned here, you can also find um, a lot of information and uh, FAQs. And of course, you can log out from here. So after you click on download Exemplify, it's important to um, note that it will ask you again uh, whether this is indeed the device when you will take the assessments because you cannot download assessments in, in exams on multiple devices. And then if you click yes, then you can choose either the option to download for Mac or for PC. So you will have a software license agreement that of course you can save uh, as a PDF and um, read carefully. It is uh, quite a long text and if you agree, after scrolling down to continue, you will get to what I mentioned earlier, this um, ID, which will be not ECLAM, but EBVS. So ECLAM appears as a department under EBVS. So this is what you will have to select. But all this information will be given in that email for you. So very important to know. I highly recommend to do things in advance because I'm not sure if it was clear from the videos that we have watched together, you would have to download the application, Exemplify, and the exam, which will be locked by a password that you only get on the day of the exam before the exam. Ideally, several days in advance, because if there is any technical problem, if your computer is not compatible or whatever, then you still have time to contact um, your support at ECLAM uh, through Janet, and then we'll try to figure out a solution. So it's important to do this not last minute um, just for your uh, own sake, because of course it's a stressful time before the exam, so rather have this done uh, in advance and then checked. So learn, prepare, and practice. Um, you have seen the video. I'll also explain a bit more later. There is also the mock exam, which will be done this year, the written mock exam using um, Exemplify. So this will give you plenty of uh, chances to um, get used to how to answer multiple choice questions and get familiar with the system. And this would be, I think, a great learning experience because practice makes perfect, as we know. And please be aware that these email notifications that will come from um, ExamSoft might land in your spam folder. So please do check that. We were also thinking of a system that you will confirm via email to Janet. Yes, I have um, received the email, etc. We also have a system administrators. We can also see who downloaded what, when, etc. But to be on the safe side, we would also appreciate a written confirmation that it worked for you. Or if you encounter any problems, tell us um, early enough. So the exam downloads uh, can be done as soon as they are available. As I said, do not do that on the exam day. It's very important to think about doing this in advance. Uh, check that the computer's date and time settings are accurate. And of course, arrive in time for the exam. So it will be done on your own laptops um, or Mac computers. So it's important that you, you bring everything that you will need for the exam, meaning the charger, make sure that the battery of the laptop is already charged and you have the appropriate um, socket adapter, etc. cetera. Um, it will ask you also upon um, download of Exemplify to disable all antivirus software. I, managed to download Exemplify on both my work computer, so in an academic setting and on a private computer. Of course, I, I set two different exams, so it was not a multiple download situation. And I did not have to disable the software. It does take some time to download. The app itself is like four gigabytes and the dummy exam, it only had five questions. So we are expecting to have something much larger. You can expect 100 MCQs plus the long and short essay answers. And very importantly, you'll have to be connected to the internet when you will do this. But as soon as you start the exam in a secured mode, so when you receive the password for, from your invigilator, you can unlock the exam on the exam date, everybody at the same time. 
and then your entire computer will be blocked except for Exemplify. So all other programs will be automatically um, disabled and your internet connection will be stopped and it will be relaunched once either you finish the exam, that's uh, if you finish four hours, um, sorry, if you finish earlier than four hours, or if you um, arrive at four hours after the start of the exam, it will start automatically to upload the exam that you will uh, shut you down basically and uh, not, you will not be able to make any changes anymore. And it will upload it, so send it via the internet connection, uh, to the exam committee and at the same time will delete it from your computer so you cannot access it anymore for confidentiality reasons. And um, yeah, I think uh, these are my uh, key messages to, to take home. From the video that I showed you, it's important also to notice. So I, I told you there will be no uh, fill in the blanks question, but they do mention whether you are enabled or not to move back and forth between the questions. And yes, you can do that. This is possible. You also have this calculator um, app that you could use. You can also flag questions, highlight them. There's a possibility to write your own notes that you can share or not with the exam committee. If you find a question is strange, something is missing, there is a problem or whatever, there is a way to give this feedback or you can just make notes for yourself that will not be sent to the exam committee just if you need to review a certain question or you want to, to write something for yourself. Um, this, these are also options. Yes, and with that, I think I am at the end of my presentation. So